We're here at ITU Telecom World 2016 in Bangkok, Thailand, and I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio by Alex Masika from Brick Limited. He's the head of business development, and Brick is an SME that's uh, here on the Kenya Pavilion uh, at ITU Telecom World. Welcome to the studio. Thank you very much. Now, I'd like to start off just to perhaps you could tell us a little bit about uh, about your uh, your innovation. And um, I know that we caught up with uh, with one of your colleagues in Nairobi recently. But but uh, for for our audience on on this particular uh, program, perhaps you could tell us a little bit about what uh, what you've uh, started. Yeah, I'll just give you a brief on uh, what Brick is. So Brick is a technology company that is based in Nairobi, Kenya, and the innovation that we are showcasing today, courtesy of. Uh, communication authority is called it's a cure kit so basically what it is it's a digital classroom in a box so it is a box that comes with 40 tablets in it it comes with a server then it comes with content it comes with wireless charging and basically this product has been built to work in areas with poor infrastructure so for example you don't always need internet to access uh, content you don't need power so it it supports wireless charging and then uh, once fully charged, it can run for up to eight hours without requiring power. So it's been built uh, to work in areas where there's intermittent power, intermittent electricity, uh, because most of the products that are in the market right now really don't cater for most of these areas, especially in Africa where power and internet is not reliable. So we, our team thought about it and we thought about building a solution that is sustainable and that can enable access to education everywhere in the world. Now, we haven't got the whole thing with us, but I know you're holding part of it. Is that right? So you've got the yes. tablet? Yeah. So with me, I have a tablet. And we say this tablet is ruggedized. As you can see, it's been built with a hard material. It's water resistant. It's a, a dust proof. It doesn't break easily. You can drop it and it won't break. And these are the things that we have, our UX team has done to make them durable and usable in hardship areas. And what's it been like being here at ITU Telecom World? Are you, you've been uh, showcasing your product here. How's that been going for you? It's been going very well. I've gotten a lot of interest. I mean, even in countries that I thought this might not be useful to them, they've come to me and they've said this is something that they'd really want to implement. Yeah, people have come to me and they've told me once they get back to their countries, they want us to already start discussions to accelerate this. Because there's also a lot of countries that have tried digital education programs, but they haven't worked because they didn't have the right devices and solutions. So most of the people that have seen this really appreciate it and uh, they think it's fantastic innovation that they would like to innovate in their countries. Of course, it's not just a rugged tablet we're talking about here. We're talking about the fact that you can charge it basically yes. uh, very quickly, that uh, essentially the content itself, that you're developing the content, is that right? Or you're, you're getting gathering the content together for it. That's also important. Yes. So we... At, at, as Brick, we don't develop content, but we work with content providers from around the world. So we say our product is contact, content agnostic. Yeah, so it can support all sorts of content. We have shipped to places like uh, Mexico with Spanish content, yet we are based in Nairobi where we speak English. We have shipped to the Solomon Islands. So, I mean, we are, we are happy with the scaling that we're doing right now. And uh, as long as we have the right content, we are able to put in any content. Fantastic. And in terms of the challenges that you face as an SME, what are the kind of challenges that you face in terms of the business development of this product? Yeah, so uh, as I mentioned briefly, we are scaling very fast. And right now the biggest challenge is meeting the demand. Because <laughs> uh, Brick Education is about a year old. We launched in September last year. And uh, when we launched, we were mainly looking at uh, providing this solution for Africa. But uh, demand has been overwhelming from around the world. So for now, that is actually the greatest challenge. Then uh, price point. It's not very expensive, but uh, some of our target market, like the low-income schools, really can afford. Because this goes for about $5,000, a full box with 40 tablets. Most of the schools that need this actually can't afford. So, you know, they have to look for donors and, you know, it takes time for them to finally uh, make a purchase. Uh, I would say those are the two main challenges so far. And Brick won an award recently for ITU Award mm -hmm. and I uh, wanted to find out, has that made any difference to you? Has it helped you in terms of your uh, sales pitch, in, in terms of your credibility? 
Yes, yes, uh, definitely. I mean, as I said, we are from uh, Nairobi, Kenya. You know, most technologies like this, people expect them to come from, you know, the bigger countries. So it's given us a lot of recognition. Yeah, people are getting even more and more interested with us, and we really thank our country and the Communication Authority for giving us uh, this opportunity. Because you're here basically being hosted by Ken the, the Kenyan government here, uh, the pavilion here, the Kenyan pavilion, and so that's, that's very much helped you as well to showcase your products, I get it. Yes, because uh, as you know, Kenya is, I think it is a number one innovation uh, center in Africa, so we are also happy that our government is promoting that. Apart from being known for athletics, yeah, we are also really good innovators. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, no, no, quite right too. You're running, running fast in technology and physically as well. Yeah. That's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. no, that's brilliant. Yeah. Well, listen, listen I, I wish, wish you the very best of luck with your product. Thank you very much for being with us in the studio. And uh, we look forward to catching up with you in the future. Well, thank you so much for having us. Thanks, Thanks. 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 Thanks.